In this video, we will look at some case studies that demonstrate the use of cloud computing in real business scenarios and the ensuing impact on these businesses and the customers they serve. The weather company's mission is to map the atmosphere of the earth and based on that generate the most accurate and hyper-local forecast uh, which can be served out to all our consumers and devices which number in millions across the globe. Weather is unpredictable and we need to be able to spin up and spin down as fast as weather happens. Our normal day-to-day -day load is 30 million unique users and when we peak into severe weather that can go north of 100 million across our products. So we generate forecasts on demand and our forecast on demand system is responsible for generating forecast uh, at a resolution of one square kilometer grid. We deliver forecasts on demand um, to the tune of 250 billion per day. On the back side of, of that is our API platform and that system operates at the scale of about 150,000 requests per second. If our products don't work and don't work fast, people's lives are in danger. Imagine a hurricane is approaching east coast of the United States. As it is approaching the coast, usage of my weather data goes up tremendously. It can go up from anywhere from two times to five times. It took us six months to migrate into IBM Kubernetes from our previous um, provider. And what we've noticed is some real efficiencies with DevOps. It's reduced our workflow and pipeline by about 80%. With the latest hurricane, we were able to scale with IBM Cloud very easily, very seamlessly. IBM's Kubernetes service allows us to scale as fast as the weather happens. As we migrated our web platform to IBM Cloud Kubernetes services, one of the biggest advantages is that this is a managed service. Which allows our team not to have to babysit our system, enables them to do other work. With the migration to IBM Cloud Kubernetes, we've gained the ability to have automation security baked in. Um, this was a feature in the component that was very manual for us in the past. IBM's security team proactively now notifies us of any security vulnerabilities. The, the tools and the investment that the company's made gives us capabilities that we would have never had before. Um, it gets us very excited and it gives our developers and engineers opportunities to build new things that they wouldn't have otherwise been able to do. The global reach that IBM and the IBM Cloud together with our technology, with our capabilities for forecasting, give us the ability to extend our products and services to keep people safe all over the world. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard, Captain speaking. Pretty much anticipating on-time arrival. In the scenario where there's a flight cancellation or some other off-schedule operation, we've had a system where we find new seats and flights availability for those customers. But I think oftentimes customers didn't necessarily know that that was the best option for them. What we wanted to do was create a system where they could actually see alternate options. The goal was to facilitate a better experience for our customers on how to get to their destination in an automated fashion on the channel of their choice. In our business, hurricanes, storms, other natural events impact our customers on a fairly regular basis. What happened, and this is a true story, the hurricanes hit and everybody said, this is ridiculous. Our customers were being impacted by the hurricanes immediately. Why are we mitigating risk of a traditional rollout when we have the power of the cloud, and this is exactly the scenario that our customers need this capability. I think people will now realize that these kind of activities and integration are much easier when we can use cloud technology, and especially microservices, we can break problems into much smaller problems, and those get much easier to wrap your head around and develop. This is the technology that we need to be adopting now in order to keep pace with our customer expectations. What I loved about my job at Cementos Pacasmayo is that it challenges me every single day. Technology moves so agile that I have to keep up with it. And what I love is that the company is also on that same road, driving towards its digital transformations. Our customers are now demanding quicker time to market and also a more broad portfolio of products. We need to keep up 
and deliver like the best service and the best products that they can get in the least amount of time. We implemented SAP S4HANA on IBM Cloud since it brings us uh, a cost-effective infrastructure and also it's quite scalable. Semetos Pacasmayo is now turning from a product-driven company to a service-driven company. The accounting area now has real insights on real time of our financial statements that they didn't used to have and also on our supply chain area, uh, especially on the procurement. They now have the dashboard that helps them take decisions right on time. My name is Mukesh Sharma and uh, I'm the senior manager of IT at Welch Food. Welch started as an organization 150 years ago and pretty fast it became the national bank. We're owned by the farmers, it's a co-op and we value the sweat equity our farmers put into it. So that's what drives us every day, that our farmers are working out on the farms and we are working here to make sure the organization gives the best benefit of each dollar spent back to them. Welch's IT is the heart of the business. All the manufacturing systems, any manufacturing data which comes in through different processing, ERP systems and you name it. So we started this journey with the private cloud and then at the same time we have started the process of asking ourselves on any new application request, can it be run in the public cloud? The approach we have taken is slowly and steadily start to move these non-mission critical systems which can be done better by somebody else, let them run outside, let them spend time on it while we spend time on our core values. Liquid Power is a company that sells products that when you inject them into crude oil or gasoline pipelines, it changes the flow characteristics to such a point that you can either one, increase the flow of those fluids, or secondly, use less energy to actually push the fluids down the pipeline. We needed to become a standalone company under Berkshire Hathaway. Without any experience in running our own infrastructure, or SAP, we had to come up with a solution that was best for our business to operate as a standalone company. So there were many decisions we had to make. Do we go cloud? Do we stay on premise? How do we create our own infrastructure and back office? And what's the best decision for us, not only today and now, but in the future going forward? So I talked to some CIOs and IT professionals. If you had a blank sheet of paper, what would you do? Cloud or go on premise? Without a doubt, all of them say cloud. This whole process and the migration to the cloud is giving what we believe is a competitive advantage. And what I really love about having IBM with SAP on the cloud is it's scalable. We can do it much faster and uh, change in a much faster time period than we could otherwise.